Um, it's showing low network connection for some reason. Let me turn off my... Okay, can you see me now? Hello, hello, everyone. Hold on, let me check my... I just have been having phone and Facebook issues and... Okay, thank you, Terry Lynn. I'm like, okay, is this thing on? Um... Okay, I can see, I can see. How are you guys doing tonight? Thank you for joining me. Yeah, see my, hold on. Thank you for joining me. We're at five and makeover. Hold on, I'm sending this over to VIP Beauties and my business page right quick. Oh my gosh, how awesome was it? Did you guys see my earlier post? I was on TV today. I was on my favorite news channel ever, like when we're home on the weekends, I love waking up at, well, my body wakes me up between 6 and 7 a.m. And I get the heating pad, sit back in Jason's favorite recliner, and I read my book and have KTLA 5 morning news on in the background. I was on TV today! Did you guys see? Did you guys see? I was so, so excited. And Karen... I love you, and you have been, which I'll send you a message later. I've been praying so hard. Hello, beautiful Bonnie, Tony, Cheryl, Terry Lynn. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I send this to my business page? Yeah, Mr. Lover is um, laid out on the couch. Poor Kylie has been... Ugh. Okay. Seven more sleeps till we are on, till we be cruising. And Kylie has been on, Kylie has been sick all day. Okay, so I have, you guys know, I'm totally transparent. I have no problem talking about things that are considered taboo. Okay, things like depression, things like anxiety, things like, you know, self-loathing, self-hate, marriage, like I'm totally transparent and I'm the way I am, even though, by the way, if anyone doesn't like hearing those words, um, bye, bye, and watch, I'll, I'll, I'll go from, from the 10 viewers I had down to like two, but sadly in society today, like things like depression, anxiety, um, they're just stuff that people don't like to talk about when in reality, sadly, um, the percentage of us that suffer and struggle and deal with mental issues, because I have no, I am so mental, you guys. I, I am beyond mental. I am crazy as they come. And you know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I'm very loud, very boisterous, but I also am a very insecure introvert that compensates for that by being extra super loud. I'm really shy. Um, up until about four years ago, I would not go anywhere by myself. That's how, that's how insecure I was. Now, especially since my Mr. Lover, um, with this like, C word BS. Yeah. My husband's stage four cancer. Um, I go everywhere by myself and quite honestly, and I've told like, it, it kind of sucks. Like I, it sucks. <laughs> like I totally get, you know, that, you know, I'm with like all my friends and they're all married. And then there's me because you know, my poor husband just isn't feeling it. And between that and between uh, insurmountable debt from cancer and medical bills, I have been really freaking stressed out lately. I have been really kicking myself in the butt. And I've been doing that about things that are out of my control. And... Two years ago, was it one or two years ago? No, last November, um, when my soulmate and love of my life was 
Um, we were at Kaiser Riverside. For those of you that have like been following our cancer journey, um, we were at Kaiser Riverside and my truck got broken into not once but twice when we were at that hospital for five days for a horrific cancer treatment where the goal was to get him as sick as possible to reboot his immune system. And I did a live video that at that time I was a lot closer to God than I am now, which I'm working on that only because all the crap happening up here. Um, it was actually, I rewatched that video. I, oh, I hope I shared that to my YouTube because I've rewatched it on my memories and have it saved here on my Facebook. And I spoke about giving it to God because when we give things to God, especially things out of our control, which is quite honestly, 99.9% .9 of the time we fret and stress about things that don't matter. And we just got to give it to God because the things that do matter. And I posted earlier today before my little monster sharks came. Um, yesterday I had yet another debilitating stress headache. Like I was, I was laid out you guys. And I started a book. I've read over 20 books since um, January 1st. I'm kind of a bookworm. But what I'm like really feeling down on myself and just beating myself up, I just read because I go into somewhat someone else's bullshit and forget about my own momentarily. I read this book um, in less than a day. It's called Barefoot by um, Ellen Hild. It's E-L-I-N Hildebrand. And um, without giving anything away, basically it's... Okay, wait, no, because it says this. Um, it's about um, three women. That's it, Ellen Hildebrand. All her books are about Nantucket. She's like the summer reading like queen. And I've plowed through almost all of her books that she's ever written. And this particular one is about three, uh, two sisters and a best friend that go to Nantucket for the summer. And the oldest sister has cancer. Reading that book was like reading about Jason and I, about our our marriage, our life, how how hurt and devastated I have felt with friends that just like stopped inviting us places like it's it's a really powerful book and in the little post I did earlier I had talked about seeing like I truly believe in signs and it, God's been showing me and those I love up in heaven like there's been so many signs this past week so the point of this life tonight I got my Sharpay marker from Tarjay. Hold on. Let me let me put my hair back. And oh, I missed a couple spots. I don't know if you guys could see. So Kaden um is gonna help me help me paint my hair later to fill in, you know, the spots I miss. It's it's very hard doing my own hair. Yeah, very hard. Um, and the blue, because um my little monster sharks, I call my granddaughters my monster sharks. That's a super long funny story for another time um they bought me hair dye for christmas okay are we ready to beat ourselves up for a minute okay and i kicked out the husband and the kids and let's make sure my mirror is so a sharpie marker okay and i'm left-handed so uh-oh Unloved. Okay. Fat. Worthless. <coughs> Oops. By the way, it's very hard writing on your face looking at a mirror. Bad parent, 
horrible wife. Oh, okay. What are some other ones? If anybody is uh, brave enough, because, you know, this is how I roll. And I know my writing is absolutely horrific. Kylie, please go upstairs, honey. I'm trying to find something. Okay, please go upstairs, baby. You don't need to hear this um, right now. Useless. Like, what are some things, some horrible things that you say to yourself? And if you don't want to share, I totally understand. But, as always, feel free to spread the love because I know I'm not the only one that feels all this shit on a daily basis. Loser. Failure. Um, lonely, lonely's been my biggest one. Lonely, um, let's see, what should we put right here? Oh yeah, my writing's super, super horrendous. How about just, like, shit? Is this how we want to live our life, you guys? All this crap? Yep. Is this how we want to live our life? Kylie? As she giggles. Yeah, Kylie, scat. I'm making food. Seriously, would we ever tell anyone that we love this? Would we ever tell anyone that we love that they're an unloved, fat, Worthless, lonely, failure, loser, useless, bad parent, horrible wife, piece of shit. Why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we do this to ourselves? And let me get my waves in. Hello to everyone watching. Kylie, I want you to leave, please. Okay, then I want you to shut your mouth. Thank you. She's 13, went from being mommy's girl, my my precious little best friend baby, to a monster. Okay. Kylie, go! Sorry. Okay, now I got to get back on track. But seriously, would we ever tell anyone that we love all this crap? Because you don't have to speak up or, you know comment your word um you know because we all have at least three words that we beat ourselves up with daily because that's how our brains work you know we glom onto a word and our brain just keeps saying it and saying it unless we make it stop with lots of self you know lots of personal development and lots of self-love and mainly giving it to god sandy that's a that's a really, that's a powerful point right there because I honestly, just with all that C word stuff going on, like I rarely even go out anymore. I love, I'm, I'm very social. I love people. I love meeting new friends and I really think what's affected me the most with the C word stuff is... A lot of friends that I thought were like here, like real friends, like they stopped inviting us places, you know, I, my anxiety, my stress, like I would, I, I was just too stressful, too depressing to be around. And I know a lot of people don't get it, but a lot of people also think that like cancer cooties are contagious. Like I'm not, like if I hug someone, I'm not, they're not going to get cancer. No, they're not. They're not going to get cancer. I, I think that right there was like that really has put me in like a super like that's totally slayed me. 
Hello, cold baby. Six more days. Yanessa and Matt. So what do we do? So I'm whipping out my handy dandy shine cloths. Um, yes, and for those of you guys hopping on, this is Sharpay from Target. Um, I'm frugal. These are mommy's little helper and grandma's little helper. Oh my gosh, my little monster sharks. Yeah, they were over here. Um, oh goodness, from what, like 115 to almost seven. And oh, I just love them. Do you know what my happy spot is? My granddaughters. My granddaughters absolutely fill my heart and soul and I forget about all this and then they leave and then those, you know, all, all those thoughts and feelings come back and F you cancer. Cancer's tried to ruin my marriage. Cancer's trying to ruin my marriage. My husband and I have not been doing good for like the past three months and I will totally say it. I'm glad he went upstairs. It sucks. So you know what? I always tell everyone that the most important time to wash your face is at night. You know what? Wash your face at night. Wash all this crap off. Let me take off all my waterproof mascara. Yeah, I, I am so glad I didn't lose my crap. <laughs> and you know what? We wipe it all away. We wipe away all those horrible things that we would never say to anyone else. Yet we say it to ourselves. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? Yeah, I put on a, I put on two coats. Um, <laughs> there we go. Wipe it away. Get down on your knees. And you pray. And you give it all to God. And for me, it's a daily struggle. I will totally, totally admit to that. My business which is like the livelihood for my family. That's like how we're going on this cruise in a week. Like I earned that. Like I worked my butt off. Since I started putting those things in my head, this is the worst my business has done. Like in four years. So I would like all of us to hold each other accountable. And again, you don't have to comment because I know that this is like a taboo subject for a lot of people. Um, you know, talking about stuff like this. But you know what? Again, if you don't like tithe stuff like if, if truth makes you uncomfortable, um, like thank you for like, you know, hanging out while you did. But. Truth is life, and we got to be stronger than Satan. And for my family and I, I need to be stronger than cancer. I need to not let people's lack of action, lack of words. JD, I'll get right back to you, baby. We're, we are stronger than that. We are better than that. We really are. And when we give it all to God, I'm just doing my nightly skincare routine um, just so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Nicole, I will totally, totally do that. I'm totally going to go do that. Got to put on my Botox, Botox in a bottle. But if any of you guys suffer or struggle with things like depression, anxiety and people try and make you feel okay by the way this is like totally uh, okay now it's now i just wasted like two days worth <laughs> that's why i kept squirting normally it's like one tiny little drop and i pat it in my skin and i know that january is like a okay at least for me personally um 
normally for me it starts right after Christmas there we go I got that little chunk off um but the, this has been a bad one this has been a really really bad one and I'm done feeling bad I'm done I'm done hating myself I'm done letting cancer ruin my marriage And I'm done feeling like crap. So if anybody would like to join me and be accountable and uplift each other, I am all down for that. And together when we give everything to God, especially those things out of our control, when we give it to God, God has our back. God is always going to be the person that is going to take away our sorrows. We just got to give it to him and we got to trust in him. And we just have to know that. Oh, JD, I just saw your message pop up. Um, I'll get back to you and I'm glad you popped up now. Though, my oldest is on and she has given me the biggest gift in the entire world. And there's two of them and I hope there's like more of them because being a grandma is the happiest soul feeling like love in the entire world I absolutely love my little my little monster sharks so you guys have a great night don't beat yourself up grab your shine cloths wipe it away and give it to God. And if you got to write on your face like I did, you know, all those horrible things, or write in a journal, or whatever it is that we do. Oh, crud, that's not my night cream. Do you need a friend? Message me. I will never judge you. Ever. Because depression, anxiety, and just all that stress, and all that crap, and again, from where I sit, that, that C word, don't let it win. Whatever's going on with you, don't let it win. Self-care Sunday. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Renee at Feynman Makeover. And super huge thanks for going on my Instagram, being, like, seeing my tattoo, my family crush. I don't even know if, because I'm wearing a t-shirt. Like, my family my Irish ink, I don't even know. If you guys could see, my tattoo has super deep meaning to me and seeing it on TV today and hearing Lynette Romero and Mark Master say, Jade, Caden, Kylie, Ivy, soon to be Willow, say Faith and shout out my grandma and grandpa who are in heaven. That was Wow, like that was so amazing. So I love you guys. Have a great night. Send me a message. I am here for you. Now my mom is on. I love you all. Talk soon. Bye.